Oh, nice what, what is it over these last two games that has allowed you guys to play so open, so free, and to have the type of performances you guys have? I think, uh, you know, the, the biggest thing is our defensive effort. Um, I mean, last game playing against uh, Kimba and Jason, I mean, when I just Tatum on Kimba and um, Jalen Brown, that was the biggest issue. Like, we had to really shut them down. It was a, uh, the head of the snake. And then uh, tonight you had to stop Trey Young and uh, just just stop the, the other guys from doing so much. You know, Herder is, uh, is another great player, up and, up and coming player. And I um, mean, they got a lot of young talent, but uh, we just had to just keep keep our foot on the pedal and just keep on pushing uh, once we got the lead. You know, first time you guys faced Trey, you know, he had a night. And then in the two games since, not just Bruce, because Tim was on him tonight a little bit. Mm -hmm. You saw him, Derek saw him. Collectively, like, how have you guys been able to slow a guy who's average the third of the night? Yeah, no, I think the biggest thing is that we uh, – we're not just focused on like one guy guarding the whole night. It's going to be a collective effort, and uh, that's our biggest uh, kind of like uh, kind of momentum going forward. It's like we have to do do everything collectively. We can't do it by ourselves. And um, and these last couple of games, that's that's what we've been trying to do. Just learn how to play together and, and be better on the defensive end together. Second half, you had a wide open corner three and passed it up, gave it to Svi on the wing. Was that just an acknowledgement of how hot he's been? I mean, I you know uh, I think. Being unselfish is, is a big part of uh, trying to help this team um, be better. And, uh, you know, I could have taken that plenty of times, but I know that, hey, the next pass with a, with a, a guy like him shooting the ball really well right now and, and for his confidence, it, it, it probably goes uh, a lot further than for me just shooting another shot and him saying, well, hey, he, he passed me up. I know his, his, uh, sudden, his, his ascendance seems sudden. You guys see him every day. Does, is what he's doing surprise you? No, not at all. He's, he's in there working every day, just like Sekou. Both of them uh, been in the gym early in the mornings, getting their work in. Uh, and it's every everyday grind. It's an everyday grind, uh, especially when you're a younger player. And uh, hey, it's, it's, it's always good to see the young players get an opportunity and making the most of it. Wayne just made a case for Derek as an all-star. Do you have the same opinion? I mean, he's fourth in, in what guard voting right now. Um, I think he'll be he'll be in there regardless. Even if he doesn't become a starter, I think he'll be a reserve. Uh, the coaches are voting him for sure. But you came into the season expecting to have a deep team, a good bench. Three starters are out, yet you still have like I think seventy six points off the bench tonight. Can you do, you do you allow yourself to imagine what might have been if you had everybody? I mean, you 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 always say wish you coulda woulda. Um, but uh, we just, just like uh, the old saying, you got to, the next man's up. And, uh, you know, Keith's doing a great job right now. Um, when I come off the bench, Bruce, uh, Svi, like everybody just try to, you know, make the most of their minutes and uh, just, just make the most of the opportunities. Hey, NBA fans, Kelly McGill here. If you like that last video from Fanatics View on YouTube, be sure to subscribe down below for exclusive NBA content.